All right, class, by now you've created your online portfolio. So now you can always go back to sites.google.com or you can type in Google Sites again and log into Google Sites into your Google account using your Google account. And you should see that your uh, ePortfolio should have your name, okay? So I'm gonna actually click on it because I wanna edit it and maybe add some artwork or actually I want to add a new page because I let's say for example I'm taking four classes in art so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, go to this little page with a little plus sign and I'm going to hit new page and you're going to want to name your new page whatever your new class is so I already have IDAD I have ceramics so let's say I want to add digital design that's another class that I'm taking and you want to select a template to use you're going to scroll down I'm going to scroll down here and you're going to go to where it says WTHS course name okay and that should be an option and you want to put page at the top level because that's the most recent class that you are currently taking and then you're going to hit create and now you have added another class to your portfolio.